I've learned a few things about how to get energy from the coil in a pretty effective way. And um, that is, um, uh, don't connect anything to the top of the coil because the magnetic field that's spinning here um, will will couple with any wires coming in, and uh, it's a it's a path to losing energy. So, connecting t my um, plate antenna that way um, actually uh, would would reduce the power. Um, so leaving the coil by itself and moving it away from the walls and people, keeping it in a space uh, large enough so that it uh, can spin up this field and not not be uh, uh, not be motivated to couple with anything nearby. Uh, then you have one wire coming out the bottom. If you put a capacitor here, um, I experimented with different values of capacitors. I'll show you a chart that I have, and the bigger I got with the capacitance the more power I got um, during during the daylight hours from like um, from like 12 to 5 p.m. Uh, because the wall uh, my wall here is is a, is a western southwestern facing wall so as the sun sets over in that direction um, uh, the energy is coming in quite effectively as soon as the sun sets though you lose a lot of power um, so I think the trend is for this capacitance to be as large as possible um, so that we can get down into the Schumann resonances and then I'm predicting I'll get a little bit more power if I can get lower and lower in frequency. Okay, I wanted to show some data that I gathered uh, a couple days ago. Um, on the, on the y-axis is the that I was receiving at a certain time of day um, and on the x-axis, I was ex I was playing with different uh, values of capacitance in series with the Basher STA, um, and and the way I measured power was by using the uh, AC-DC converter, putting a resistor. Uh, I think I used 250k ohm resistor on it as a load, and then computed the power from the uh, from the voltage that I was reading across that resistor. Um, so, um, the, the Basher SDA had no scope probes connected to it, uh, which turns out the scope probes will actually steal, steal power from it, and, uh, wires, anything near the Basher SDA would, it would lose power. So I was careful to keep everything away from the Basher SDA, um, but by adding various values of capacitance, as I increased the capacitance, uh, the energy pickup the wattage on that resistor increased. Uh, the reason why I have like a blue and a red here is because some of the capacitors I, I was using uh, have printed on them a range of capacitance like 88 to 108 microfarads so I don't really know what the exact capacitance is but it's somewhere between these two uh, lines. Um, so there's clearly a trend here that as I add more and more capacitance I get more and more power which means uh, the energy is down in the lower frequencies and therefore either I need to increase my coil inductance or I need to add more capacitance um, so um, th this curve can go uh, quite high <laughs> and eventually will peak at the resonant peak wherever, wherever that resonant peak is um, but I'm clearly very far away from it, and I'm limited right now because I don't have any more capacitors to experiment with. Okay, this is kind of a wild experiment. Um, I've learned a few things uh, in the past couple of days. One is uh, the plate capacitor that I made here. Uh, when I attach it, the power levels actually go down. I, I have a bunch of uh, AC capacitors here, and I've uh, connected them all in parallel to create the largest possible capacitance and this only adds up to 200 and something microfarads um, so I need to get more capacitance uh, to go even lower frequency but um, I wanted to show you uh, first of all it's about 5 p.m. in the afternoon um, the sun kinda is setting over in that direction comes in this way and this is when I get the most energy when the sun's uh, on this wall, uh, um, beaming energy this way. So I, uh, some people wanted to hear the sounds, and so I've hooked up an amplifier directly to uh, 
to the coil and this is what I hear today. Now the, the coil, uh, if you get anywhere near the coil, the energy drops because there's like human capacitance and it couples with, with a person. So I'll show you if I stick my hand in here, I lose the signal. So a nearby radio station is providing some power, but it's also picking up more wideband. Um, so I'll show you that again. Stick my hand in here or, or even just touch it. I lose the, I lose uh, the signal. A another experiment is if you, if you take a wire and drop it in here, the magnetic field gets reduced. Or the or now I mean, these capacitances. If I remove them, I'll, I'll reduce this down to ten microfarads. This big capacitor is ten microfarads. That also drops the signal a little bit. But since uh, if I remove the capacitors altogether, so this is just the coil with no capacitors. back takes a little while to kind of charge up I have to put this on here too 